Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13 Galaxy S7 Edge in the house. Now, check it out, man. I haven't had a Samsung device in my hand since the Note 2. That's a long time ago. I'm going to bring over the LG G5, show you size comparison, about the same height, same width. The difference is 5.3 IPS LCD, 5.5 inch, Super AMOLED display, both all metal devices does have a coating over this that gives it somewhat a plasticky feel but you know some are saying that some aren't to me it feels metal i don't know but it feels really nice it feels sexy it's a great device a lot of positives check it out if you're interested because every day that i've had it it's just i keep finding new things and i keep thinking man i'm really sending this back uh, but you know what i could always pick it up later but it's a very sexy device in its own right but we're here to talk about the galaxy s7 edge the overview, first impressions, again, in hand, feels great. All metal body, titanium, glass. Yeah, very nice. Volume rocker on the left-hand side, very responsive. You got your power button over here, your speaker, your microphone, USB charging port, headphone jack. And up top, you have another microphone, and then you got your uh, SIM tray and SD card slot tray all in one. It is plastic inside there, but metal on the outside. Again, 5.5 inch AMOLED, super AMOLED display. Got the uh, 12 megapixel camera, uh, dual LED flash, optical image stabilization, wireless charging, the Samsung logo. Uh, five megapixel camera on the front there. You got your sensor in the far left. You have your notification light, your earpiece, and again, your home button with the fingerprint sensor, recent pages, back button. Scroll down to your toggles, your settings, go to about device and you got 6.0.1 marshmallow running underneath the Samsung UI with a lot of bloatware so I haven't seen that in my hand for quite some time I am sure I won't use a lot of that that's probably my only thing that I'm not too fond of but we'll see what it has to offer what I do like is the edge panel here you can just scroll through and you can choose different ones. If we go into settings, it got we got all these edge panels that you can choose and you just check them up top in a little box there and that will go on to the other, attach themselves to the other panel. And Samsung is going to be uploading more of these through software updates, I guess. And so I I, I really dig that, man. I like, I like being able to choose different apps, you know, my favorite news feeds and so forth. So I think that's really, really neat. Um, Got to get used to the edge there. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of other stuff that we can talk about. But overall, first impressions is that it's very fluid, very um, feathery smooth. Um, you can open up apps pretty quick there. And um, yeah, very, very nice. You go into the camera. If you hit the arrow down here, you're going to open up your settings, arrow up. And let's take a picture of my little stormtrooper. Pretty quick. Wow. Look at that. Very nice. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. I'll be covering, hopefully, I can do some samples uh, with this device and the LG G5 before I send it back, and maybe a video or two as well. Um, your folders open up really nice and fast. Go into YouTube really quick. And let, let, let's hear the speaker. Now the speaker on this isn't going to be as loud as the LG G5. The LG G5 rocks it, man, with that one single mono speaker. Then you can check out the colors as well. The oversaturation there, man. <laughs> Sharp, vivid, and crisp. Not too bad, not too bad. So anyway, that sounded really good. I mean, the quality of sound was very nice. I mean, the treble, the bass, all sounded equally together. So it didn't sound tingy. It didn't sound like the vibration was um, too much for the speaker. To me, that sounded great. It wasn't super loud like the LG G5, but for a single speaker, I give it a thumbs up. 
at this point. I will be watching movies and listening to my own music, and we'll see what that does as far as my uh, the quality of sound for me, you know, being a media guy. So um, anyway, that's a, a rough overview, first impressions video. I'm going to show you something else I brought in because you know me, I preach screen protectors. I got some screen protectors by Jet Tech. That will be going onto the device. And Lightning Knight clear case. I love clear cases because why? So you can see the sexiness of your device. Now, you can see that all the cutouts are going to be their speaker and USB charging port area and your headphone jack area. And then you're gonna have your power button where it's going to be right here. So I'm pretty sure that's going to work really nice. It's going to be nice and tactile there. And your volume rocker on the left-hand side. You got your cutout for your camera. Up top, you have your cutout for your microphone there. So we're going to place this clear case inside, or the device inside the clear case, I should say. And let's turn it off so we can see. Now, the only thing is it doesn't cover the edge, so I'm really, really have to be careful not to drop because I, I still want to show this the, the, the all metal body, and this is this is a way that especially when I'm in the review process, I don't want to hide anything, you know, as far as when it comes to this device. I want you to see everything that's on the device, and um, but it is some protection. It's better than nothing, and uh, yeah, man, you work hard for your money to buy these devices, protect them. So there you go. This is the Galaxy S7 Edge. That is my first impressions. Till the next video. Thanks for watching. I will leave links for the case screen protector. And uh, yeah, just leave some feedback. Tell me what you think. I'm out. Peace by Project 13. God bless.